going on YouTube so today we're back with a uh, gear review we're looking at a holster system we're looking at the Vetter holster and this model happens to be the light tuck now they make this for multiple I mean tons of different guns and what was nice is I have a Walther PPS which is not like a terribly unpopular gun but it's not you know a Glock or a you know a Smith & Wesson shield or anything so holsters can kind of be harder to find for it I mean there's a lot of options out there but you know, not as much as other models. What's nice about them is they carry uh, a lot of their holsters are ready to ship. So you know, a lot of custom holsters are going to take you know a certain amount of time. Um, you know, they're going to take six weeks, twelve weeks, whatever, to make the holster and get it to you. I wanted, I didn't, I'm impatient, didn't want to wait. And I saw um, that I like the design of this holster. I've used something very similar to it in the past. It's obviously made of Kydex. Uh, it does have an adjustable. A retention screw here and it's also got this clip now this clip is is tuckable so you can actually tuck a shirt in there if you wanted to and it's got an adjustable cant so you can adjust it um, quite a bit for you different angles there I have it here and I'll show um, later in the video I'll show how it looks um, in the waistband and how it carries but I like it there it's just nice that it has those options it has adjustable retention and adjustable cant in a, in a really really thin kydex holster and we'll just that the gun is safe. Yep. So I'll just actually walk that slide back just for fun. So I'll talk more about the holster. It's made of a really, you know, really well molded. Um, it's really well put together holster. It's very quality. I have a few different Kydex holsters for a few different guns, and this is definitely a really good quality. It's got a thinner Kydex, which I like because it makes it slimmer in the pants. You know, when you have this in between your pants, it makes it a little slimmer. And what I was using currently. Was, or previously was this Remora holster. Now, I still love the Remora holsters. Um, I could do a whole other video just on these holsters. And I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there on them. They have this, you know, no clip design, this really rubbery, grippy texture. It, it works really well. Uh, but there is a couple serious downfalls to these. One is reholstering the weapon is not going to happen. Once you've unholstered that weapon, this collapses and it's very difficult to get the gun back in. Now they do make a reinforced top version, but again, it, it still doesn't work as well as something like the Kydex. Uh, two is when you go into, and this is kind of something we all, all of us that carry run into, when you go into a public restroom and you have to, you know, drop trowel to, you know, take care of your business, you're going to have to take your gun out of your pants, you know, and then put it on like on the toilet paper holder or whatever. So that's kind of one hindrance. With this, you have a clip that's going to stay clipped onto your pants. It does a really good job of that. Um, it also carries a little bit better. It's a little thinner, and this is pretty thin, and it's really comfortable to use. But I, and it, but it can shift. I mean, it doesn't move like it's not going to fall down your pants or anything. That's the idea with the no grip. But this is definitely feels more secure. And I got this because I'm heading back down the front sight this June to take the pistol course again. Um, this time with my mom and my stepdad, and I wanted to use my PPS. It's my carry gun. The first time I went, I used my PPQ. Um, I do carry this gun, they, and they said you can use um, inside the waistband holsters as long as they retain um, their shape. Is when you draw the gun, you know they don't as long as they you know basically like this a Kydex holster. So that's why I got it. Now these run about sixty bucks shipped. You can actually buy them on Amazon, and or you can buy them directly from Vetter Holsters website. Now I'll tell you what's funny is I I saw the name Vetter Holsters and I immediately thought of Pearl Jam, big Eddie Vetter Vetter fan. You know, so it looked like a good product. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna grab one and try it out. They have a 30-day trial on any of their holsters, and if you are not satisfied, they'll gladly um, do a refund. And they also carry a lifetime warranty on them. So for 60 bucks, it's a really good value. It's a good deal, and it's a really nice holster. I've been using it quite a bit, carrying the gun in it. Um, it carries just as well as or more, if not better. Um, it does have that better retention. And it's much better, obviously, for reholstering the weapon, and you can do better uh, training drills with this. So that's why I went with something like this. Um, the remora does have its advantages. I used to work in a job where I couldn't um, take my gun into work, so I had to take my gun in and out of my pants frequently, and something like this works really well. And you could technically do the same with this, but the remora was just a little easier. Now I work from home, so I usually carry this on me all day, and that's not really an issue. So. Definitely an awesome product. I haven't seen too many reviews about them. There is a, you know, there's just a ton of holster makers out there. But I think what's different from these guys with these guys is that they have so many models in stock ready to ship. 
that they have a 30-day return exchange policy if you're not satisfied, and then it has a lifetime warranty, and it's all reasonably priced. Now they have a couple different designs. This is called the Light Tuck, which I mentioned. They also have, let me just take it out of this little sheet here. This came with the holster when I bought it. Uh, they have this Comfort Tuck, which is going to be very similar to like a crossbreed holster, which I used to have. Comfort Tuck Mini, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. They have a belly band, a uh, quick draw outside the waistband holster, and they have some pocket Kydex holsters. So they have quite a few different options. Like I said, this is for a PPS, but they do have tons of different options. Um, I'm probably going to get one for my PPQ also. I've been thinking about carrying that one during the winter months because I can cover up a little bit more. This conceals really well. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll cut to that footage, and you can see how it carries and how it sits in the waistband. All right, guys, so you can see. It's kind of your side profile. Here's the gun right here. It doesn't print hardly at all. This is how it carries. Nice and snug. Um, you can obviously adjust that cant, um, but it covers, it just really sits real nicely. Kind of holds right to your uh, the side of your body with your body. So, really nice. I uh, really like the way it carries. So, all right, we're back. So, definitely highly recommend this product. You can see it carries really nicely. It's very comfortable. Um, you know, what's nice is again, you have 30 days to try it out if you're not satisfied. You can return it. Um, the, the retention that it came with was really nice. I'm just going to drop this magazine again. Safety check. Yep, safe. And just to see, kind of give you an idea of the retention of the holster, it's not falling out. I mean, it's not going anywhere. But it's not hard to draw. It makes for a pretty quick draw. So I like the retention the way it is now, but you can adjust that. So. Anyway, guys, definitely recommend uh, picking up a holster from Vetter Holsters. It shipped very fast. Um, like I said, it was in stock, ready to ship, and they had probably 100 different gun models that were in stock, ready to ship. And that really kind of sets them apart from a lot of holster companies because a lot of them, you know, make the holster after they get your money kind of thing. These guys have obviously invested money in uh, blue guns to, um, you know, mold these holsters already. And I really like that about them. So if you're looking for a quick, custom holster this is definitely the company to go with I'm definitely pleased with my holster they have multiple different options good great customer service um, check them out I'll put a link to their website below you can also search on Amazon they do sell their products on Amazon so that's actually where I bought mine but that's gonna be it for today we'll uh, see you next time if you like the video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you on the next video